Yeah, I mean, it was a great effort all day. Um, a real team effort, which I think is the important thing that maybe in this campaign we've be, we've been going out there as 11 individuals, um, 11 guys who are trying to do their best, trying to score runs, trying to take wickets, um, but not getting in the game, not working as a team. And I think over the four days in this game, there's not one person who hasn't had a, an impact on the game. And to get as close as we did is 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 tough, but. You know, it bodes well for the, the type of cricket that we want to play. You're going to win more games than you lose if you put in performances like that. And if we want to improve as a side uh, and reach the heights that the, the top teams that are playing at the moment, you've, you've got to play that type of cricket. We've had opportunities in the season at North Ants and at Gloucester to win games. Um, and, you know, due to, you know, maybe an injury to Ollie Stone and not getting over the line against North Ants and then a mad sort of couple of overs at Gloucester and, and a poor session, um, those games, you know, ended up not coming to positive results. Um, so along with this one, you could walk away with three victories. You know, we're third in the log. We wanted to be top two. We haven't achieved that, so that's disappointing. But um, I think with this young group of lads, um, with some <laughs> big players um, retiring now for next year, um, this is going to be the challenge for them, is, is to come together, work on their skills and work on us playing as a team. The lads really threw everything at it in those final ten overs. It was probably a point where it might look like it was going to a draw and then we got those two quick wickets. I mean, you must be pr really proud of the bowlers, especially Hannon Dolby and Norwell that threw everything at it. Yeah, I mean, those two, they, they came flying in City as well. I mean, that was fantastic all day. You know, he's, he's bowled with real pace, created chances. So we kept creating chances. We kept, you know, going past the bat asking questions of the umpires, took everything that came our way. So you can't really question uh, the effort or, or the, 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 the pressure that we put on Glamorgan. You know, fair play. We said at the beginning of the day that Glamorgan can bat well. They've got the right to bat well, and I thought they did. You know, they stuck at it. They made sure that we had to work for every single wicket. Um, yeah, and to get as close as we did is disappointing. Would have been nice to get a new ball at 80 instead of 90 and, you know, had that few more overs with a, with a fresh nut. Um, but, you know, you walk away disappointed without getting the win because of all the work you've put in. But... Um, I think you've got to be able to take that confidence now. You know, it's, it's, there's been a lot of new changes this year. You know, not playing Jeets and, and giving Alex Thompson uh, a rightful chance to, to stake a claim there in, in the five games. You know, Tim Ambrose with Ricky Burgess coming in. Um, so there's been a lot of things that we, we needed to look at. Um, we, have a, we have a better view of all those things for next year and some real good stories as well. And disappointment for Belly as well, because 10 short of his 100 and one wicket short of a win, it was nearly the perfect swan song. Yeah, I mean, but you know, 130, 140 uh, runs in the game on a, on a wicket that, to be fair, they probably had the best of the wicket in terms of, you know, that first morning it was nice and fresh, and today the the clouds that have been hanging over Cardiff disappeared for today, um, and it would have been a really fitting fairy tale ending, but you know, sometimes cricket doesn't give you that. And uh, but I think what he can be is very proud of all the career stuff that we always talk about and, and what he's achieved as a player for club and country but just over this game has been a perfect example of the impact that he has you know and, and the young players that learn off him 22 yards away it's been a pleasure personally to to be 22 yards away from him although maybe not stayed out there too long with him uh, most of my career but to be able to watch him from afar on the tv and then uh, here at Warwickshire um, has been a real pleasure and you know, hopefully he, he takes the, the good stuff from today and everything that he's done at this club. That's the end of him in first class cricket. Could we potentially see him in the T20 Plus with five games to go? Yeah, I think he's got a little bit of a niggle, um, so we might have to review that. And if, you know, down the line, it would be great to see him have one last game at Warwickshire. So we'll just have to review that and see where we are in the competition. You know, we've still got a chance to, to qualify. Uh, the guys that went down here this week have trained uh, with Tony Frost uh, and trained really well. So we've got fresh legs come into that game with obviously guys from this game. We train tomorrow take on Glamorgan uh, uh, on uh, Friday night so we'll be looking forward to that and everything to play for. Yeah we've got teams ahead of us we've got teams below us it's kind of in our hands if we went on Friday isn't it a real kind of kind of opportunity for the lads. Yeah I mean T20's like that you know sometimes when you have you know bad losses that we have had um, it, it's tough and it can affect your confidence but I think the win at, at Somerset when you're two for two get, get rain affected and you, and you get two points from a very good side it just keeps us in the hunt. And if you, if you can get on a run, you're never too far away in T20. If you get on a nice run, uh, guys put their hand up and put in match, match play performances uh, and you play as a team, I think it gives you as good a chance as anyone.